Welcome to another video. Today I am going to be making a winter soup. First up, we need to chop some celery. Here I am chopping them up into slices about an eighth of an inch thick. And then I just add them into the saute pan, or a saute pot in this case. Next, I peel and chop up an onion. And then I will add this into the saute mixture as well. Then I peel and chop up two cloves of garlic. And then I throw that into the pot as well. Now I'm adding in a few spoonfuls of chicken broth to complement the sautéing process. And then I'm adding in some ghee for cooking. After I turn the heat on to a simmer, then I let it cook for a bit, say 15 minutes. Now it's time to chop up our carrots and beets. I usually try to chop up the beets between 1 8 to 1 4 of an inch thick. They are a little bit more dense and can take a little bit more time to cook. And then I just threw those into the saute mixture to get a head start as well. I happened to have some leftover cauliflower, and so I decided to add that in also. And I threw in some cabbage too. I also decided to add in some green beans from the garden. And then I just added in the rest of the chicken broth, which in total was probably about 16 fluid ounces. And then I also added in some turnips I had harvested earlier from the garden and froze, and I added those into the pot. And then I added in close to about a cup of water, which was almost enough to cover all of the vegetables. I also added in some frozen okra that I had harvested earlier in the year from the garden. And after adding in all those vegetables, I wanted to make sure that I gave it a good stir. Oh yeah, and I also added in some squash to help give the soup some more bulk and a thicker texture. And this squash also came from my garden. Finally, I added in about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and let the mixture continue to cook. All right, and it is looking good, nice and thick. A wide variety of vegetables. So I am now spooning it up into a bowl. And there it is, all ready to eat. 
I did season it with a bit of black pepper. And I also added in some arugula leaves and some minced onion for garnish. I always enjoy how the chicken broth really complements the vegetables that are in the soup and they combine to, to create this really rich taste in a nice hearty winter soup. Well, that's all for now. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.